hello guys welcome once more to another video in our youtube channel so in this video we continue solving the northwest regional mock 2023 puma tube mechanics paper two equations so in this video we are going to be solving equation two for those of you who have not yet watched the solutions to the other questions do well to check the description of this particular video to see the questions that have already been solved so you get to their solutions if you are interested so let's get started all right so here is question two which has been displayed to you already but i'm going to read the question so we together get a better understanding of the question so the question reads the, a car of mass 2000 kilogram moves up a slope inclined at sine inverse of 125 the known gravitational resistance to the motion of the car is 3200 newtons the acceleration due to gravity is g equal to 10 meters per second squared a find the power developed by the engine of the car when the speed of the car is 15 meters per second and the acceleration is 120 meters per second squared b given that the maximum power of the car is 100 kilowatts find the maximum velocity of the car c after reaching the top of the slope, the engine is shut off and the car now moves ahead to descend another slope inclined at alpha at constant speed under the same known gravitational resistance of 3200 newtons. Show that 25 sine alpha is equal to 4. So this question is simply um, under the topic work energy and power and I um, beg of you to pay keen attention to the concepts that are going to be explained. Okay, so the very first thing to do when, you, when you're faced with problems of this kind is to draw the diagram. So we have that the car was moving on an inclined slope. So here is my horizontal and then there is my inclined slope. The slope was inclined, let's just say, at an angle of theta to the horizontal. And we know that the theta is simply sine inverse of 1 divided by 25. So the car being on the inclined slope, since it is moving up the inclined slope then you have a driving force which is pulling it up the inclined slope we call that force f then we have the known gravitational resistive force which is maybe we call it capital R. and then as well we have the component of the weight of this car along that inclined slope which is maybe w2 for example these are the only forces that i'm going to indicate here not to date the diagram we could as well indicate the weight of the car the, 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 the component of the weight which is perpendicular to the plane and the normal reaction but for um, better understanding and not to date this diagram I'm just going to use these forces okay now we are going to apply a Newton's second law of motion along the plane but before doing that we have to find the power developed by the engine of the car when the speed of the car is 15 meters per second and the acceleration is 120 meters per second squared so like i said we apply the newton second law of motion up the plane now that that law says that the resistive the resultant force in a system is equal to the mass times the acceleration but what's the resultant force is simply the algebraic sum of the forces in the system algebraic means we take the force considering its sign so since my body or my car is moving in this direction that is upward it means all forces acting in that direction are going to be considered positive while any force acting in the reverse direction will be considered negative so we have that f which is the driving force of a car up the plane minus the resistive force then minus the component of the weight which is parallel to the plane is equal to the mass of the car times the acceleration of the system so with that we get that our force is equal to the non gravitational resistive force plus w2 which is the um, component of the weight of the car which is parallel to the plane then plus the mass of the car times its acceleration but we don't have this force but we have the engine of the car so we need to give a relationship between that force and the engine of the car so the work done is simply equal to the power times the time as well as the work done is equal to the force times the distance we see that if we equate power to time if we equate power times time to be force times distance and we divide both sides by um, to get a power means we divide both sides by time you're going to see that the power will be equal to the force times the distance divided by time the distance over time is a, is a velocity or the speed so we see the power is equal to the force times the speed or the velocity 
all right so that's what we are going to use so with that set it means the force is equal to the power on the speed of a car so the um, force here becomes power over v that's over velocity to be equal to r plus w2 plus ma now since we need the power okay we we need to find the power developed by the engine so we cross multiply by we cross multiply so we have p to be equal to v into r plus w2 plus ma now we need to fit in this respective um unknowns which we know actually so the speed of a car of the inclined slope is 15 meters per second plus now the component of the weight which is parallel to the plane is mg sine theta where theta is the angle of inclination okay now the acceleration is 1 divided by 20 so we have m divided by 20 to be equivalent to ma now um, we need to replace m with um 2000 then we multiply it with g which is 10 we get 20,000. now sine theta is simply 1 divided by 25 because if theta is sine inverse of 1 on 25 means sine theta is 1 divided by 25 so i take 20,000 times 1 on 25 it gives me this then plus the mass is 2000 then divided by 20 gives you 100 watts this w here is a unit of the power watts so if you simplify very well you're going to get that the power developed by the engine when the velocity when the speed is 15 meters per second and the acceleration is 1 on 20 meters per second squared will give you 61,500 watts or 61.5 kilowatts all right now the next question is telling us to find the maximum velocity of the car given that the maximum power of the car is 1000 kilowatts so we let's just say okay the maximum velocity of the car is capital v and we know that when the velocity is maximum the acceleration is zero the reason is simple the acceleration is dv by dt okay and when the velocity is maximum it means it is constant that is dv by dt is a constant okay sorry velocity being maximum means that the velocity is a constant value and taking the derivative of it you get zero automatically and dv by dt is simply the acceleration so when the velocity small v is equal to capital v where capital v is the maximum velocity the, the acceleration is zero so we come back to our system here which is f minus arrow then minus w2 to be equal to ma and we replace a to be zero and then since we are finding v we need to replace our f or in fact we can just come here right and then we have that our v we just need to replace a with zero and then we divide both sides by arrow plus w2 and then this p here becomes the maximum power and then the v here becomes our capital v because it is the maximum velocity now our maximum power is 100 kilowatts which is 1000 watts divided by our known gravitational resistance is 3200 and then our w2 is simply mg sine theta which is 20,000 on 25 which is 800 if we simplify this we get that the maximum velocity of the car when the power is maximum is 25 meters per second now finally we have the third question where the car reached the top of the slope then the engine is shut off and the car now moves ahead to descend another slope which is inclined at an angle of alpha at constant speed under the same known gravitational resistance of 3200 newtons we need to show this so we come back to the diagram to complete it okay so we are we, we have to show that um 25 sine alpha is equal to 4. now this is the other slope because the car moves reaches the top of the slope the engine shuts then it goes down and then continue moving with constant speed and then it is descending a new slope and the slope is inclined at an angle of alpha to the horizontal so here's my car okay now since um since we have the it was moving at constant speed okay therefore constant speed now the um the the, the 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 resistance of the car is the same as 3200 newtons now what is going to be the pulling force of the car the pulling force of the car this time around because when the engine shuts off okay then um there is no pulling force again like when the engine shuts off there is no pulling force that is f does not exist but the pulling force is simply going to be the component of the weight which is parallel to the plane and we, are, we can call it w3 
because we are on a different inclined slope so this f here normally is zero because the engine is off now we have the resistance as well which is arrow it remains unchanged now it is moving at constant speed so we know what happens the acceleration is zero so we have to show something that 25 sine alpha is equal to 4. so to show this we see apply the newton's second law of motion but this time around down this plane doing that we get w3 minus the resistive force will be equal to the mass times the acceleration but since the speed was constant down this inclined slope then the acceleration is zero so we get w3 minus r to be equal to zero so it means w3 is equal to r but what is w3 it is a component of the weight of our car which is parallel to the plane which is just simply since the angle here is alpha it means it is mg sine alpha then we equate it to r but we know m we know g we know r we just replace our m with 2000 our g with 10 and then our r with 3200 if we divide both sides by 800 the left hand side will give you 25 sine alpha the right hand side is going to give you 4 which is what we were required to prove thank you guys for watching and endeavor to like the video share the video with your friends subscribe to the channel comment on the video as well